Today we create a really interesting text animation in After Effects. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we will be creating a really interesting text animation and I will also show you guys how you can save this text animation to use later in your future projects. So it's going to be really fun and interesting. It's a really simple but kind of complex looking text animation and I'm going to show you exactly how to create it. So without any further ado, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition and let's call this main comp. You can call it whatever that you want. 1920 by 1080 let's make this maybe 30 fps 10 seconds should be good and hit ok now you can use any text that you want you can also use a sentence if you want so i'm just going to type in a simple text so i'm going to type in something like project oh absolutely incorrect all right i like to add this dot at the end just to give it a bit more interesting look so here we have our text and then what I need to do is go right over here and let's add some properties. So the first thing I'm going to add is position and we don't need the range selector. So I'm going to select the range selector and delete it. And instead of a range selector, I will be using an expression. So I can go right over here, go into selector expression. All right. So here we have our expression and here I'm going to add an expression from the notepad I have right over here and I'll provide the notepad and the expression I'll provide the expression and the notepad I'll provide everything in the description box below or you can also download the project file for free and you can get this expression so I'm gonna hit control C to copy it and let's go into the expression se sector 1 and go into the amount and right over here I'm gonna select it and hit control V to paste the expression so we don't see anything happening because we need to give it a little bit of interesting position to this. So I can set this to maybe 70. And now right off the bat, we have this really simple and interesting text animation. Pretty simple. Now let's go ahead and make it a bit more interesting by adding some nice properties to this. So now let's go ahead and add a scale. We also need a skew. We'll also need a rotation. And now I'm going to set the scale property all the way down to zero. Then let's give it a little bit of skew to maybe around 30 and the skew axis to around 60. All right. And for the rotation, I can give it a little bit of rotation, like maybe 65 or something like that. And these are the numbers that I figured out after playing around for a long and long time with this, you know, animation. So I just came up with this numbers and this numbers were working pretty good for the animation. You can all, always experiment with different, you know, different numbers and play around with the complete look of the animation. So as you can see, now it has some interesting animation going on but we're going to make it a bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this up and let's duplicate this by hitting control D on the keyboard. So we have animated two, and in animated two, I'm going to go into the expression and change some properties. So the first of all, I'm going to change the frequency. So let's see what was the frequency for the second one. That is the one eight and 0 0.2. So the frequency is one, the delay is eight and the duration is 0 0.25. So let's set the frequency to one the delay to 8 and the duration to 0 0.25 now this are the amount that I figured out to be really interesting and really nice looking but you can always play around with the properties and you know find a really interesting look as well so I'm just gonna close this up now let's see what we need for the for the animator 2 I'm gonna need the position the skew we don't need the scale so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna delete this and we will also need a tracking and we will also need a blur amount so let's go in the property blur all right so for the position I'm gonna set this to maybe something like me minus 25 and for this one I'm gonna set this to minus 30 for the skew I'm gonna set this to minus 30 again and for the skew axis, let's set this to actually zero. 
and rotation let's bring this down a bit to maybe 40 all right for the tracking amount i'm going to set this to before and for the tracking amount or the tracking type to before and the tracking amount to minus 50. so now we should have this really interesting look maybe a bit more so i can just set this to minus 60. all right and for the blur i'm going to unlink this and set this to maybe 15 so only the right side of the text which is still animating is blur giving it kind of a motion blur effect you can see really really cool animation so now we have our text in animation let's create a really nice and simple out animation and for that all right so now what i'm going to do is let's go ahead and add a position so we have the range selector one and then i'm going to animate the offset of this so what we need to do is let's actually go to one second create a keyframe on the offset actually let's animate it later on let's add all the properties that we need so position opacity and blur that is all we need so position we have it let's add the opacity and let's add blur right actually we don't need the blur we just need oh maybe we need the blur so let's set this to maybe 10 i think okay all right so for the position i'm gonna set this to minus 20 and for this i'm gonna set this to three all right for the opacity bring this down to zero and for the blur actually let's set the blur for zero for now and animate the range selector now so now we can animate the offset and we will have something like this so let's actually set this to 100 create a keyframe go to two seconds and set this to zero so now we have our out animation now we can add a bit blur to this i think so it gets blurred out just like so i'm gonna set this to maybe around 10 and i think we have our animation i think it's a bit too fast so i'll move the keyframes a bit forward in time and hit f9 And there we have our really nice, simple, but really complex looking text animation. And now you can use this text animation in your future projects as well by creating a preset from this. So to create a preset, what you need to do is select the, all the three animators that we created, go into animation, save animation preset. And now you can save it wherever that you want, but I'm going to save it into documents, Adobe. After Effects, whichever version that you have, and user preset. So I'm gonna call this fun text animation. All right, and let's click on save. Now, if I just maybe delete everything, maybe I'll just delete the text and let's type in something like design. Let's place it in the center. And now I can go into animation preset, user preset, and there we have our fun text animation. Let's drag and drop it. And bam, there we have it. Now it's a bit too fast. So what I can do is hit U and drag the keyframes just a bit forward in time. Now we have this really nice looking text animation. And this you can do with any text or any sentence if you have. It's really simple, easy, and fun to create. So that is a wrap for today guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful and if it was make sure to subscribe, comment and like and I will see you guys in my next video. Till then take care. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.